This show is brought to you by Smile and Talk Media, an African media company. Guys, it has finally happened. Over the last few weeks, social media has been a buzz, and everybody has come out to make their predictions. This is the most talked about dress in the world today. What color is the dress? Is no, that's not what we're talking about. What else you got? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Britney Spears losing her weave on stage either. I'm talking about Floyd, Money Mayweather, and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao getting in the ring to duke it out May 2nd. Oh, yeah, talk now. Rumors that this fight is finally going to happen got really serious when video captured Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather at a basketball game talking to each other. So this is huge. Now, you got to understand that these guys are like sworn enemies. Batman and Joker. Bond and Blofeld. Spider-Man to Kingpin, Obama to Republicans? We've gotten our hopes up before and it didn't happen. In 2009, it was right there and it didn't happen. So is it going to happen now? Ladies and gentlemen, hell has officially frozen over. The fight we've been waiting for, it's here. Mayweather posted this on social media. What the world has been waiting for has arrived. Mayweather versus Pacquiao on May 2nd, 2015. It's a done deal. Finally, the two best boxers in the world are going to get into the ring, and once and for all, we're going to find out who is the best in the world. This is going to be a massive event, a massive event. Many people are going to watch this event that have actually never watched boxing before. Many people are going to watch this event that don't know anything about these guys. They're just going to be caught up in the spectacle. So that's why I'm here today to give you the backstory in a segment that I call, How We Got to Here. Now, if you're one of those casual boxing observers, then you probably don't know that 38-year-old Floyd Mayweather and 36-year-old Manny Pacquiao once tried to get this fight going back in 2009, back when Floyd was 32 and Manny was 30. They were considered to be in their prime, number one and number two in the pound-for-pound -pound ranking. Floyd is known as a defensive genius. He can go through his fights without ever getting hit. He got to the top of the rankings the hard way by beating everybody in his path as he rose in the weight classes from 125 pounds to 147 pounds. And then finally, he got his big payday when he fought Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy, and Ricky, the hit Manhattan. He won those two fights. After that knockout of Ricky Hatton, Floyd Mayweather actually retired. Now, during Floyd Mayweather's absence, a guy by the name of Manny Pacquiao started making waves. He's best known for his attacking style and throwing punches from difficult angles. He brutally beat up Oscar De La Hoya and Ricky Hatton, the same two guys that Floyd fought right before he retired, and everybody started saying that maybe he's better than Floyd. And the boxing world was divided. Half the people said Floyd would win, half the people said Manny Pacquiao would win. On the internet, as it is with everything on the internet, the debate was intense. They even have affectionate names to describe the internet trolls that support Manny Pacquiao and the ones that support Floyd Mayweather. The ones that support Floyd Mayweather are known as Flomos. Floyd, he's a defensive genius. He can't be beat. He's going to go undefeated. Greatest of all time. And the ones that support Manny Pacquiao are known as Pactards. Pacquiao is the fastest fighter. He has lightning speed, lightning speed, punching power. In 2009, it seemed like it was a perfect storm. Pacquiao had just beaten Miguel Cotto, and Floyd Mayweather had just come out of retirement to beat Juan Manuel Marquez, a boxer that had given Pacquiao some of his toughest fights. It looked like everything was all set. If the fight took place, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao could stand to make as much as $40 million each in that one night. They got together to negotiate the contract and it looked like everything was coming together. But in the 11th hour, all negotiations fell apart and Manny Pacquiao went off to fight Joshua Claudi instead. So what made this fight fall apart? Well, apparently it fell apart because Floyd Mayweather requested that both of them be subjected to Olympic-style random blood testing. Manny Pacquiao didn't feel this was necessary because it wasn't required by the Nevada Boxing Commission. He's using steroids, man. That's how he was able to knock out all those people. Why would you walk away from $40 million just because you don't want to take a random blood test? What are you hiding? Who is Floyd to dictate to Manny Pacquiao what you should and should not do? The Boxing Commission doesn't tell you to do that. Why should Floyd tell him to do that? Manny Pacquiao doesn't work for Floyd. The Pactars and Flomos weren't alone on this. The media was pushing for this fight also. Okay, who might be next? It doesn't matter. All right, how about Manny Pacquiao? It do if he wanted, he can get it. Okay. 
He fought the last two guys you fought, and he did a, a quicker job on both of them. Floyd is scared of Pacquiao. He doesn't want to get his first loss. He wants to retire undefeated. Chicken Floyd, chicken, run, 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 chicken. If you read the comments, they actually do sound like that. A lot of fans are wondering, why not submit to WADA-style testing? Why wouldn't you do that? I'm not uh, saying that I'm not, I, I won't uh, submit the blood testing, but uh, not the day of the fight because uh, it's going to be uh, affected of my, of my condition. I will admit uh, blood testing be before and after the fight, but not the day of the fight. I tried that before when uh, Morales uh, won, and, you know, it's very uh, disadvantage to me. Excuses! You can't tell somebody when they're going to give you your random blood test. That's why it's random. How come Manny Pacquiao has agreed to the random blood test now, but didn't agree to it 2009? What has changed? Does it no longer affect his body? He's doing it for the fans because he's good, decent, not gay weather like Mayweather. On May 2nd, the debate will finally be settled. And to all those people who said that Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao were suckers for walking away from an $80 million fight in 2009, the May 2nd fight stands to make $200 million. So I guess we are the suckers. Oh, yeah, talk now. Anyway, here's an example of twerking. Takes a DNA. Gone horribly wrong.